Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Jarrell. Today we're going to be doing the Boxy Charm unboxing, and I'm super excited to be sharing this box with you guys. I really took a little peek, but nothing really in depth. So I'm really excited to be sharing all the goodies that we got for this month. Hello, it's January. Hello, January. And I'm really excited that it's a new year and see what Boxy Charm is going to be bringing to us this new year. So let's go ahead and get into the box but before we do don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already you can also click on the little bell so you can get notified whenever i upload a new video which is every single week and without further ado let's get on to the video all right so just in case you're not familiar with boxy charm it is a monthly service of 25 dollars a month you get five beauty items so it could be skincare makeup and sometimes tools as well that you can use. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and open it up. So this is my box right here, super excited. So as soon as you open it up, you're going to find this little card that gives you all of the information. So I did receive this box from BoxyCharm. It is the base box for $25. They do have different tiers, so you can definitely check their website and find out a little bit more on the, the products. I know the premium box looks super amazing, amazing on Instagram. Like there's some products last month. I know a lot of people received the VCR palette, which I'm a little jealous, I'm not gonna front. <laughs> but let's see what this month brings us. So the first thing that I see right away is the skin product from Pharmacy and I'm super excited because I have tried a couple of products from Pharmacy and I'm really, really excited with their skincare. I do like my skincare for sure. Um, and their cleansing balm is definitely a like top seller at Sephora, but this one is a toner and this one retails for $28. It is the Deep Sweep 2% BHA Pore Cleansing Toner. So that's really good. All right, so the next product that we have here is a lip gloss from the brand Just Fun and it retails for $18. I never heard of this brand before. So I'm really interested in seeing. Okay, definitely not a color that I am going to be wearing, especially if it's opaque. All right, so here is the lip gloss. Unfortunately, the stopper kind of got a little bit messed up and that is going to create a big mess, but I do like the color. It doesn't have a scent. Unfortunately, the packaging is not so good and for $18, you know, you want it to be like, really good because it is $18. All right, so the next product that we have is from the brand Seraphine Botanicals and it is an apple and Maubi <laughs> glow lip mask. So are they trying to tell me something because I'll be getting a lot of lip stuff. <laughs> so here it is. Um, this retails for $25. So it does have a lot of good stuff like shea butter, apricot, plus jojoba and rose chip oils. So a lot of things that could make your lips nice and hydrated, which is really, really nice. All right, the next thing that we have here is from Pure Cosmetics, and this one is a tinted moisturizer. I'm really excited to try this one. They did ask me for my shade. Hopefully I picked the right one. It is a little bit difficult to pick your shade online, even though you know I try and tend to stay within the neutral, kind of medium, light to medium sometimes. It's still very difficult, but um, this is the Pure 4-in-1 Tinted Moisturizer and it retails for $35. So I do have mine in the shade Medium. So the last part that we have in the box is actually something that I'm super excited because I love eyeshadow palettes. It's just something that I really enjoy trying and playing with and all of that and it is from Violet Voss. It is the Olive You Forever. How cute is that? And I didn't mean to wear this olive sweater. I just did because I have like a tank top underneath and how cute are these colors as you can see it is a beautiful beautiful eyeshadow palette with your burgundies pinky green tones and I love green eyeshadows so let's just put some on our fingers right now of course 
<laughs> I grab all the greens um, because I love all the greens. But um, yeah, that mat right there feels really, really, really nice. So as you can see, these are the colors right here. All right, so here are some shades from the eyeshadow palette. So far, I am living for those greens for sure. The matte swatch, really, really nice and soft, but you know, it's different when you swatch it than when you actually apply it to your eyes. So I am super excited to be trying this one's for sure. All right, so I swatch some more right here, as you can see, really nice. Um, the black is really, really nice. I mean, look at the matte right here. Um, but the other mattes, they look a little patchy, but once again, when you're swatching something, it is completely different than when you are applying it, but that black does not want to go anywhere, so it's really nice and pigmented. We will try the palette. By the way, this eyeshadow palette retails for $34. So let's go ahead and try these products, but the only thing that I'm not going to be trying for you guys in camera today is the toner, just because I do have one open already, plus I already have my skincare down, so it will be pointless for me to open this up, but everything else I will be trying. So let's go ahead and get into the try-on portion of this video. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and try this so it does smell good and it comes out like this you do have to shake it mm. feels really nice on the lips wow that feels really really nice to the lips it doesn't have any flavor but you can taste like the oils that it has i already feel it in the back of my throat just to let you know but it does feel really really nice on the lips Mm, very hydrating, super moisturizing. I mean, it is a lip mask, but really, really, really good so far. All right, so I went ahead and primed my eyelids as well as I did in my brows. They just look really nice and fluffy right now, which I am so practicing on this look because I really, really like to make them full and like fluffy. So that's what I'm trying to do with my brows. So just in case you're wondering. I'm using this shade Wink and it's kind of like a pale pink. I'm going to add that on my upper crease, so above the crease, and just working it from the outer corner to the inner corner. I'm really focusing on this part right here and just working it in little circles all the way above our crease. All right, with a smaller brush, this one is the Sigma E27 brush, I'm going to take Wishful. And I'm going to run that on the crease. This shade right here is a little deeper than the, the one that we were using before. And just building this color to your satisfied with the shade. All right, so taking Infatuated, which is this shade right here, and really just working it right in the middle and really focusing on the crease. These mattes are really, really nice. And just going back and forth, adding the color and blending it. All right, now I'm going to take Charm, which is a deeper burgundy brownish kind of shade. I'm just going to add it to the outer corner and connecting it to what we've done. Just really keeping it in the outer corner and whatever is left on your product, just flicking it up. All right, guys, so I'm going to use this Olive Glow shade. All right, and just adding this shade halfway. Wow, that's so pretty super super pretty i love this shade this can definitely just be like a one and done kind of shade just put it all over your eyelid and just blend it oh my goodness super beautiful all right using this little brush right here i'm going to take a little bit of the black shade and you saw how intense it was on my hand so i'm just adding a little bit and blending it in the outer corner and adding it a little bit on the crease but not all the way just halfway all right now going back with this brush i'm going to take all of me and i'm going to add that in the inner part of the lid all right so now adding this shade to the inner corner this one is called major spotlight and just bringing it up it's like it looks white but it's actually a golden shade, super, super pretty. Cleaning up the fallout. I always clean up a little bit too much. I need to relax on that, but oh well. All right, now going in with the foundation. All right, so you can see it's like pretty thick, like a cream. All right, it's definitely a tinted moisturizer because I don't see a lot of coverage 
at all. Like I still see the redness on my chin, the little mark that I have right there. So let's see if we can build it up. So it is definitely light coverage. I mean, it is a tinted moisturizer after all. It just doesn't go with these eyes, you know what I'm saying? Um, but it, this is a four in one. So just in case that I mentioned, and I'm pretty sure I did not mention it to you in the beginning, this is a moisturizer, primer, foundation, and SPF all in one. That is why it's called four in one. Not the coverage that I wanted for this look because this look is super bold and you definitely want to have like a perfected kind of skin for this look. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and just add a little a bit of concealer i'm going to do that in powder and bronzer and all of that and i will be back so we can finish the lower lashes together all right taking wishful and i'm just gonna run it all the way from the outer corner to the inner corner all right taking this shade right here and that is charm a little bit and focusing that on the outer part all right, with a smaller brush, I'm going to take the black shade and that is called Infinity. Really tiny and really focusing in the outer part, really, really close to the lower lashes. All right, so yeah, so out of the whole entire box, definitely the eyeshadow palette. It's my favorite, which I'm so happy. This right here, the Love Glow, I cannot wait to do a whole entire look using that eyeshadow, just like a one shadow look. Oh my goodness, super, super pretty. And the mattes blended so nicely. As you can see, it was like really easy to create this look because the mattes just did not give me a hard time. It was just so nice to work with this palette super beautiful um the other thing the lip gloss is okay but i think i'm gonna give it to my daughter just because i don't see myself reaching for this color at all the lip mask it felt really really good. so the pure tinted moisturizer was really light coverage obviously because it is a tinted moisturizer so i can see myself using this one especially for like every day or for like a sunday just to even your skin tone and give you a little bit of protection for your skin to feel a little bit hydrated so it is really really nice in that part so the other product that i'm super excited to try is the toner from pharmacy so i'm really excited about those two products like these two right here definitely sold the box for me so yeah guys thank you so much for being here thank you so much for your time your love and support please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already and i will see you next time